Hello, and welcome to the Thyroid Warrior Podcast. I'm Ebony, and I'm here as your wellness facilitator. I'm going to be sharing my experiences in managing Hashimoto's disease. I really hope that it'll help you on your personal journey. Keep in mind, however, this does not substitute for medical advice. It is only for your information and motivational purposes only. Now, let's get started. Hello, friends. We are back. I am so proud of you for taking the time to do this very, very difficult work. It is not easy. It is not fun. No one really likes to look inward and see the things that aren't so great about us. It sucks. It does. But when you start the process of actually doing that, you'd be surprised at how much you uncover and how strong you really and truly are. Because I'm going to tell you something. When you're managing an autoimmune disease, a thyroid disease, and you just do not have the same amount of energy as the person sitting next to you, you have to try to hype yourself up constantly to get things done. So I want you to have some pride in the fact that you are doing it. You are here. You are traveling to work. Sometimes you have up to maybe two hours of a commute every day. You're still getting things done with your kids. You may not feel like you're doing the best that you could do, but at the same time, your children are fed, they're clothed, they have a roof over their head, and your bills are paid. Even if you're not in the ideal situation right now, let's say you have a lot of debt because you've been going to doctor after doctor after doctor to figure out what's going on with you. If you finally gotten to a point where you have a diagnosis, that is something to celebrate. And if you're at the point now where you're like, okay, I really want to start the process of managing my condition, I'm proud of you too. And I really want you to take some time to have pride in the things that you're doing and the things that you're accomplishing. When you go to the doctor and your thyroid stimulating hormone levels have dropped, celebrate that. When you actually get sleep at night and you're not in this crazy cloud of insomnia, celebrate that. When you actually get up and you can put on clothes or shower, Celebrate it because it can be such a challenge to feel normal. And when you start little by little creating habits or doing things that make you happy or actually being able to process information a little bit more clearly, it shows You feel better. You stand up a little bit straighter. And especially when you start to lose weight after gaining a lot of weight because of your thyroid disease, buy that dress. No, hold on. Before you start doing that, understand and recognize, I will put this disclaimer out here because I went through it, that our brains, and I forget what the phenomena is called, but when we buy one thing, we naturally want to keep buying other things. Before you keep buying those other things, ask yourself, do I really need these other things? And if you and your partner really keep things tight when it comes to finances or money is tight, ask yourself that question. And try to figure out how to make things a reward and not actually reward yourself until you've accomplished that behavior. That is one way I was able to manage the process of replacing my wardrobe. I did it over a year because A, I didn't have money to just go out and spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars even on new clothes. I was like, you know, not doing that, especially because I was in the process of paying all these fees and getting all these things done after separating and moving and blah, 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 blah. So little by little, reward yourself. And what I want you to do is start telling yourself a different story. So as my mentor, Shante Grant, used to tell me, she's like, who do you need to become in order to be Ebony 2.0? What behaviors and patterns and, and what things are you telling yourself that need to change? 
So I'm going to ask you guys the same thing. What are you telling yourself right now? As you're making these changes and you're starting to implement things little by little, what are you saying? And it goes back to our affirmations. I am healthy. I am healed. I am strong. I am intelligent. I am capable of doing hard things. And I am well. I am productive. And I write those things. I have dry erase markers. I write them on my mirror because I have to constantly remind myself of that new story so that I don't slip back into those old habits, behaviors, and or patterns. So every time you accomplish something, even if it's getting up in the morning, celebrate it. Because maybe a month ago, you had no energy to get out of bed or your joints were so inflamed that you could barely walk or you didn't even have the mental capacity to remember what you did the day before. Every time you can remember something, celebrate it. Go out, shout, scream, jump for joy. Whatever you need to do to show yourself that you're proud of you, do it. I don't care if it's embarrassing. I don't care if people stare at you. They'll get over it. But be happy about the things that you're doing because it is remarkable. And I'm going to tell you, when you are going through this life and this journey and you're trying to figure out how to live your best life, you have to constantly improve and make adjustments. It's the small things. It's like sleep. It's going to the doctor. It's making sure you're taking your medication or if you're seeing a functional medicine doctor, actually doing the protocols. It's getting up and living with a purpose even when you fall get back up again if you can't walk crawl if you can't even crawl hold your head up with the pillow because it can be a hard road and the more we get used to this new identity the more we start to walk through those processes and those systems that I talked about a couple episodes ago you'll be able to just be happier. And you'll start to realize that over time, you're actually getting stuff done. And you're actually becoming that person that you always dreamed about becoming. And I want to make sure that you guys get the free download. And that is at joyfulebony.com forward slash healthy basics. And in that guide, it's going to give you little tips about meal planning. It's a template in there. It is information about water and just some quick tips to help you on your healthy living journey. And I would love to hear how you're implementing these things. And I'm at Joyful Ebony on all social media platforms. And I'm really excited, guys, because we're about to get to episode 100. And Just so you know, here are some resources available to you. You can go to joyfulebony.com forward slash thyroid guide to pick up my thyroid guide. And you can also get ready because two things are about to happen. One, I am going to be releasing a health journal telling you guys here first. And I'm also getting prepared to launch my thyroid basics course again. And I am pulling out all the stops. I'm getting things updated, getting ready to start filming, and it's gonna be good, guys. So definitely keep a lookout for that because it's about to be good. And because I really wanna give you guys the most bang for your buck, I'm gonna be releasing monthly emails to share with you past podcast episode, my YouTube videos that come out every Tuesday and different fitness tips, recipes, all of that jazz. I'm working on that right now to just revamp that and get that updated for you guys so that you have hashtag all the things. And I'm so excited about that. So until next time, be happy, be whole and be well. Take care. Okay, thyroid warriors. Get out there and take things one step at a time. Remember, 
be great, reflect on your triumphs, and as always, be well. Take care.